So if you saw part one of our credit spread series, you saw that we opened a spread on Wayfair that netted us about $1,500 in 24 hours. And it's not just that spread. This year we've made profit on over 90% of the credit spreads that we've opened. We've identified a four-step approach that anyone can follow in order to start opening spread after spread and start stacking dollar after dollar. Welcome back to the Hourglass Trader, where as time passes, we make money. So if you're coming to this video after watching part one, you should have a pretty good idea conceptually about what a credit spread is and how it works. The biggest question you're probably left with is how do I get started? When it comes to opening a winning credit spread, there are four main steps we've identified to help you open a winning trade. They are as follows. One, picking a stock. Two, picking a direction. Three, picking a strike price. And four, executing the trade. This is a pretty high level overview of that four step process, so let's dive a little bit deeper into what each of these steps means. So as you see in the bottom right, step number one is to pick a stock. One of the most important things I tell people is to only trade things that you're familiar with. So if you take a look over here, we have a watch list that has just over 20 stocks. As I watch the market through the day, I'll take a look at how each of these individual stocks moves and see if there's anything that's kind of outside of my expectations. One such instance occurred with Wayfair. If you look here on the chart, it was trading at about a 195 to about 210 range but during the day it went all the way up to 222 and broke out of that. Based off what I've seen, Wayfair was on my list. I'd monitored the price pretty closely lately. This is unusual. So what we would do is we would try to play the stock back down. It's also important to note that every now and then there will be hype stocks that pop up. Things like if you look at Tesla, where over the past 30 days the stock's gone from $900 up to $1,600 which is an absurd jump and if you look on even a further time frame it's gone from two hundred dollars up to that one thousand six hundred and forty three over the past calendar year these stocks obviously are going to be the forefront of the news you're going to see them on twitter you're going to see them on the internet people you know you're going to be talking about it if it's not on your list do not trade it the unpredictability is one big thing that can completely kill you when you're selling options if you're selling options, it's important to know what to expect so you can set good strike prices, make smart trades, and get good results. So that's pretty much the big takeaway from this is to, when selecting a stock to trade, keep a list in mind, watch the list for a week or two, get familiar with how the stocks on that list move, then and only then should you start making plays on these stocks. So since we looked at Wayfair earlier and identified that as kind of an unusual move throughout the day, that's the stock we'll use for this example as we move through our four-step process and try to open a winning credit spread. So that takes us to step two, picking a direction. We mentioned a little bit in the previous clip that we thought Wayfair was going to go back down. Let's talk about how we came to that conclusion. So here we have Wayfair's stock from the beginning of 2020 to the moment that we decided to open this credit spread. It's pretty clear what the trend is, as back at the beginning of the year it was trading at $45 a share, all the way up to, as you can see right there, $219.50, with the high of $222.30. So kind of looking at the chart recently, this line right here represents kind of the end of May. Every time it breaks out, there's a little bit of a fall back down. It breaks out, there's a little bit of a fall back down. Breaks up, down, up, down, up, down. So it's pretty clear that's something that had been on my watch list and it's a pattern that I'd noticed. So let's skip ahead to looking at the week of Wayfair's price activity when we decided to make this trade. So here we are, it's the week leading up to when we made the trade. This right here is when we decided to make the trade. You can see as we talked about on the last step that it was trading a little bit of a range right here and it decided to break out of that range. We know Wayfair on a technical basis is very overvalued. The book value of the stock is negative despite this incredible growth. So as a company, I don't think this stock price is an accurate representation of the true value of the company. So that's the reason that we're going to play it back down every time we see a spike. So the question now is where are we going to play it back down from? So that's going to lead us to step three where we talk about picking strikes for our spread. So here we have Wayfair again. We're going to zoom in onto the one day chart. And we're going to draw something here called a trading channel. We don't get into a lot of TA, but this is kind of one thing that I think is pretty important when analyzing a stock. So a trading channel is going to be two parallel lines. And throughout the day, it's going to go in the same direction. But in general, as you see from these lines we draw, it'll bounce off the top and off the bottom of these lines and trade within the channel. When we zoom in right here, you can see that it's at the top of the channel, 
and if we go back out to the 20 day chart another interesting thing here and I'll pause it for a second is we like to talk about psychological barriers the all-time high is one of those psychological barriers and as you can see here it's at two hundred and twenty one dollars and fifty four cents so as the stock approaches the all-time high and is additionally at the top of the trading channel that gives us even more evidence as to why we think the stock is going to fall in addition to the awful valuation of Wayfair that we talked about earlier so what strike price are we going to pick to play the stock back down so we see the stock is just below 220 the all-time high is at about $221 we're going to pick our short leg which is the strike price that we're going to want to keep the stock below at $222.50 that gives us a cushion of about $4.08 over the current stock price of $218.42 or about 1.8% in case we're wrong so let's get into what it looks like actually executing this trade. Alright, so here we're on the Wayfair trading screen. And just as kind of an aside, we're using Thinkorswim, which is TD Ameritrade's trading platform. And as long as you have a trading account with TD Ameritrade, you can get it for free. Personally, I think it's the best software out there, and I would recommend you use it if you have the opportunity to do so. So let's get into the option chain. So we've paused it again. And if you're a first time user of this software, this can be pretty intimidating because you're looking at this, there's a lot of numbers. When the market's trading, a lot of things are moving. So it's important to note what exactly you need to look at and be familiar with in order to open the spread. So for starters, right up here is the price. This is gonna change obviously throughout the day. It's important to know what the price is so that you're familiar with what a good option price is. If something moves quickly, you may wanna change your trade. And down here, this is where the actual option chain is. You have the option to change how many strikes you can see in case you want to see more or less. But what you might be noticing is that these are only single legs. And for a vertical spread, we need two legs. So we'll click right here. So now you'll notice that instead of the single legs, we'll have the entire spread, both legs laid out right here. And on the left side, you get the calls, and the right side, you've got puts. So like we talked about for our Wayfair spread, we're going to want to trade a call spread. So we're going to press right here under the bid column, which means that we're going to be selling it. So when you click this, make sure that it opens up that these rows down here are red. If they're green, that means you're buying the spread and it's a debit spread. And that's not something we want to do because that's not a strategy that derives its value from theta. So if you look right here, you'll see both of the legs. And if you look right here, you'll see the price of the spread. And one thing that we want to be very specific about is that we always want to have a limit order selected. Do not have a market order selected when you're trying to open a spread. One of the hardest parts of opening a spread is finding a good value fill price. Thinkorswim does a great job as it puts your fill price right in the middle of the bid and the ask. And if you really want to play with it sometimes, if your order's not filling, for example, you could play with this sliding scale right here, but we find that the best value comes when you have that sliding scale all the way to the right because that represents the dead center between the bid and the ask. You could also play right here with the legs of your spread. The wider the spread, the more value you get from decay of the option, and the higher your break-even price is going to be. But conversely, the higher your max loss is going to be. Typically, the best max gain to max loss ratio is going to come on the tightest spreads, but if you're looking to immediately benefit off the decrease in value of an option, a wider spread is a good idea. Wider spreads also require selling less contracts and it saves you a little bit of money on commissions. So for this trade, we're going to make the spread a little bit wider. We're going to take it from 222.5 and 225 up to 222.5 and 227.5. So let's click on submit trade and see how this looks. So here's the information we're looking for when we click submit trade. The max profit and the max loss. As you can see on this trade, the max profit is about $1,500 and the max loss is about $3,500. Typically when we're opening a spread, we're looking for a max profit to max loss ratio of 1 to 2 or 1 to 4. Anywhere in between that's good. And the max profit to max loss ratio here is 1 to 2.4. So this is right in the range of where we like to open our spreads. However, one of the other rules that we talk about is not risking more than you're comfortable losing. And as you can see, the max loss here is $3,500. And quite frankly, for a trade like this, I'm not willing to lose $3,500. So it's an easy fix. The default order on Thinkorswim when you try to place a trade is 10 contracts. So we'll simply click down here and decrease the amount of contracts that we're selling. So let's hit submit again and see what happens. Where are our eyes going to go? Right back to the max profit and max loss. As we can see, the max loss is just over $2,000 and our max profit on the trade is almost $1,000. 
compared to the 3500 before i'm much happier with this because a two thousand dollar loss isn't going to ruin my week and blow up my portfolio and i'm very happy with a one thousand dollar gain on this trade so let's hit submit and see what happens so to check an order in progress you're going to click over to the monitor tab and go to the top row of activity and positions where it says working orders there we see our order where we put a price in of 160 and the marks only one dollar and 47 cents which means that we're trying to sell for more than it's worth so what are we going to do we're going to adjust the price of our trade by right clicking up here and clicking edit order and if you look down at the pricing mechanism that we looked at earlier it says that a dollar 45 cents is a fair price so we're going to make sure our limit order reads a dollar 45 and submit it and these aren't always going to fill right away so it might take a couple seconds but if you look in the top left we'll get a notification as they fill and right on cue our order filled so if you go back to the monitor tab you could look under the wayfair ticker that we have right here under positions and you'll see our spread so you've successfully if you followed these steps submitted an order to sell a spread and now we sit back and watch the price of wayfair all week and hope that it stays below two hundred and twenty two dollars and fifty cents and if you come in here from part one of our credit spread series a little bit of a spoiler alert it does but what happens if the trade goes against you well we'll talk about that in part three Thanks for tuning in, and feel free to follow us on social media. We've got our Twitter handle right here. Please subscribe to our channel, like the videos, leave comments. I'll try to get back to any comments or questions you guys have, whether they're on here or on Twitter. But until next time, this has been the Hourglass Trader, where as time passes, we make money.